Kovic got slammed for throwing UK and Switzerland negotiators under the bus over trade deals. The EU has been accused of pointing the finger at other negotiators when its own officials are at fault. European Commission Vice President Maros Kovic has warned the entire UK-EU Brexit deal could collapse if the UK decided to trigger Article 16 of the Northern Ireland Protocol. In separate negotiations, he told Swiss officials to demonstrate a political commitment to talking to the bloc in order to ensure that relations remain positive. Northern Ireland Conservative Aaron Rankin suggested the EU should stop blaming others for negotiation failures and focus on considering the implications of its own actions instead. In a post on Twitter, he wrote, The EU says it will terminate relations with the UK if the latter exercises its rights under a mutually agreed treaty. It is also saying relations with Switzerland may break down if it doesn't submit to Brussels's laws. Has it occurred to the EU that maybe they're the problem? In his latest threat to the UK, Mr Svkovic warned that the system collapses without the protocol. Triggering Article 16 would allow for parts of the protocol to be ignored if their impact on daily life was severe. The Commission Vice President added, You try to achieve something together, and, boom. There's the threat of Article 16 again. That goes to the heart of our relationship. UK negotiators view the position of the European Court of Justice as an overseer of whether trade is taking place in accordance with EU law as a major sticking point. The EU appears unwilling to back down on this front, which has become a source of tension on the negotiation table. But Mr Svkovic insisted, without the protocol, the system collapses. We must prevent that at all costs. Separately, Mr. Svkovic said the onus is on Switzerland, not the EU, to show an interest in discussing updating the deals between the two sides. He suggested that Switzerland will not be punished with negative measures if talks are not taken up. But he singled that relations would likely take a downwards turn. The Slovak politician said first of all, we needed a political commitment from the Swiss government that it is serious about talking to us on a range of issues. The European Union's relationship with Switzerland could fall apart if negotiations over the country's place in the EU internal market fail. Brussels has pushed for years for a treaty to cap an array of bilateral accords and require the Swiss to routinely adopt changes to single market rules. Switzerland would have to give assurances it would abide by EU internal market rules if Bern is committed to new negotiations, Svkovic said. The European Union wants Switzerland to agree to a dynamic alignment of its laws with EU law, a level playing field, a mechanism to settle disputes and regular contributions to EU funds for poorer EU members. Svkovic reiterated the EU's demands in an interview. He added, we urgently need to know from Switzerland whether it seriously wants to negotiate with us. In November, the European Union urged Switzerland to set out a clear timetable for resolving the EU internal market issues by January. Svkovic said that, we have to know what we want to talk about when, so that it is clear that the discussion will not last 20 or 30 years. EU-Swiss economic ties are governed by more than 100 bilateral agreements stretching back to 1972. A collapse in relations over time could jeopardize Switzerland's de facto membership of the EU common market that Bern is keen to maintain. Svkovic gave the example of medical devices, which can only be sold in the EU with the right certification and that would be impossible without the appropriate contracts. Swiss Foreign Minister Ignazio Cassis claimed the EU Commissioner had misrepresented a meeting the pair had last month in a failed bid to restart bilateral trade talks. Svkovic told reporters after the meeting that the EU's door remained open, but that it takes two to tango. Responding to Mr Cassis' criticism, the EU Commissioner said, I think I was absolutely fair in describing what we discussed in our private meeting. Cassis has already made it clear that he would hardly be able to present the EU with a concrete plan until the pair next meets in Davos for the World Economic Forum. Svkovic said Swiss researchers and institutions could continue to participate, but they would not be able to access EU taxpayers' money until other issues are resolved. Taxpayers' money and 